welcome to another set of five minutes of magic with Princess Carlina, the warrior writer. And um, I was actually eating an amazing lollipop and, and you know, whatever, I was eating lollipop and I thought, ooh, lollipop goes with this book. It's called A Concise Chinese English Dictionary for Lovers, uh, Xiao Gu. Uh, she's from China. Uh, this book, she wrote it in the UK and it's very particular because uh, it's basically about this woman that she moves from China to London, um, young, 23 year old. Funny enough, the same age that I was when I first moved to London, so it resonates. Um, and uh, basically she every chapter is uh, it's about a word in English because she's learning English so the book it's it's written in a kind of broken broken English way very peculiar um, and really cute because it even says sorry for my English <laughs> as you can you know it's quite quite beautiful so here I am with my with my red tongue with my red plumps <laughs> maybe red plumps and um, let's bring on some magic five minutes here we go drifter noun person who moves aimlessly from place to place or job to job a fishing boat equipped with drift nets third day you were away feels like you are gone for a month before i never be alone living in this house now i realize this your house everything yours and everything in this place made by you very little to do with me but this place completely take over my life I am a little alone teacup belonging to your cupboard. I wandering in your house silently, lonely, like a cat without a master. On your dusty bookshelf, I take out photo album. There is a picture of you, arms around the big tree like lava. You naked in the picture very young and with a brown skin you smiling at the person with camera must be your lover another picture you on boat this old black and white photo so sea looks totally brown you only wear shorts and your muscles are strong you smile to camera holding the boat's paddle. Who with you on that boat? Which sea is it? Another old picture. You are with a man, a young man. You both are naked, standing on a rock by the sea. The waves coming up on your legs. Man beside you is handsome. Who is person taking this photo? man or woman you must be three very intimate very close friends if you both naked in front of camera you saying in your journey sometimes you feel life exciting because you are on enormous sea sailing and sailing forever but sometimes you really bored and every single minute because you are always on boundless sea sailing and sailing forever i try imagine to watch every sea single minute but can't i never been close sea only washed from playing next page you arrive san diego and san francisco you not really write about love. Was not love in your 19 year old life? Is it really only blue sea in your brown eyes at that time? What about?
out your dreams after that long voyage you longing for something you can do with your hands 20 years old you go art school you studying sculptures there by making your hands dirty a photo between pages i guess was that the sculptor you made enormous naked man lying down and taking over whole floor of big studio a giant but giant naked giant That's the main subject of the sculptor. When you're writing, you have sex with several boys in the art school. I don't like plural because they not stable. I don't like nouns too, as they change all the time like verbs. I like only adjectives and adverbs. They don't change. If I can, I will only speak adjectives and adverbs. You kiss my lips, my eyes, my cheek, my ears, my neck, and my silver necklace. It is like my necklace having a special magic on you. And that magic force you devote yourself to my body then you kiss my breast and you suck them. You are like baby who is thirst for mother's milk. You lick my belly and my legs and my feet. You possess my whole body. They are your farm. Then you come back to my garden. Your lips are wandering in my cave. And in that warm and wet nature, you try find something precious something you always dream about. You wander alone there and love there and want to live there. My whole body is your colony. That was it, folks. People! Absolutely gorgeous. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this space with me today. Um, I really look forward to showing you you know no matter what life is there is always beauty there is always love there is always something to hold on to or let go you don't need to hold on to anything just just be just be sending your rays of goodwill princess carlina the warrior writer